This is a special day for all of us here because of our relationships with Kirk and Samantha. It's a lifetime, lifetime milestone for the two of them, a day they'll never forget. As they prepared for this day, the first day of the rest of their lives, they wisely looked into God's plan for marriage in the scriptures. It's called the marriage covenant. And within the marriage covenant, one man and one woman become so intimately linked at the level of the soul that God now begins to see them as one flesh, one person in his sight. The scripture reads in Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, that a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. Some superhuman gifts, some superhero, some fairy tale bliss, just something I can turn to, somebody I can kiss. I want something just like this. I recall when Kirk first met Samantha, he was in absolute awe and knew right then and there that she was going to be the one. Now that would have been great if that love at first sight reciprocated. <laughs> but it took a lot of dedication and some sweet dance moves on his part to finally win her over. <laughs> I know the one man that's had a huge impact on Kirk's life. He's taught him family values and integrity and everything he holds so dear comes from his people. And I know he's watching right now, Kurt, with a big smile on his face and couldn't be proud. I just want to say I'm truly blessed to be able to call Kirk one of my closest friends and couldn't be more honored to be up here tonight speaking as his best man. Kirk and Samantha, I love you both and congratulations to the bride and groom. Salute. Where'd you want to go? before God and before this assembly, by the authority of God and by the laws of the state, I declare that Kirk and Samantha are now husband and wife. And in the words of our Lord Jesus, they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate. Kirk, you may kiss your bride.
beautiful princess in finding her worthy knight. This couple has proven that fairy tales do exist in the real world. And I thank them for showing all of us that these stories can become a reality. We are all a little weird and life is a little weird. And when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them and fall into mutually and satisfying weirdness. And we call it love. We call it true love. So to Mr. and Mrs. Jackson, may you ever and always be in true love.